This game has been out for two months and it had an initial release date for October 5th and I'm just making a video to discuss this game. Um, even though it hasn't been out for too long, I ended up getting this game two weeks late. And what do you guys think is going to happen? What do you guys think is going to happen to this game? I wonder what's going to happen for 2022. Uh, I still have hope for this game. I think the potential is still there. It's just fun to open up the menu. Here we go. It's just that. It's just not that. It's it's still fun. It's a good game. It's just it's just lacking. And uh, I have this game on PS5. Not many people have the PlayStation 5 itself, and it's so rare to even try to find players. It's just it's so difficult just to try to connect. And it still has some things that need to be fixed, some things that need to be added. And just getting this game two weeks late, I thought this game was going to be packed. This game had so much hype from when it launched. And um, it's played similar to Super Smash Bros. Because I thought most people would get it because it's like Super Smash Bros. with the characters. And it could go as far as to be saying that. Most people are saying, oh, this, this could be the Smash killer. But I would never say something like that just because we because the game just came out. And we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know the player base. Who's going to play it? Who's going to be interested in this game in the first place? Because you, you might not even know these characters. Like, it plays similar to it. All the characters are unlocked. Just getting into it. You can't even earn the characters. They're just going to be available to play right off the bat. So as you buy the game, download it. It's not even that big of a game in size. Just a quick download. And you just start playing. You'll have all the characters available. Whoever you prefer. Like... Ren and Stiffy the most, or whoever your Nickelodeon favorite Nickelodeon characters are, you're gonna play play as them. But this is what I want to talk about, and just to get started, I think it, it's the potential is still there with just DLC with Garfield take, making its appearance, and it brings more life into it. It was way more lively when the DLC character was gonna get revealed, and curious to see what who it was gonna be, see what he he or she is capable of when you start up a menu and start playing. But this is what I want to talk about. Let's let's just say mm, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use talk for example in this video, and uh, it doesn't even matter. How do you know? It's just it doesn't even have a. Yeah, it, this is training, but you know, I wish it had like a character tutorial so you could play and get to know that particular character that you like. So if you like Aang, Sandy, Michelangelo, SpongeBob, and just some of these characters that you probably won't know. Like Potter Toastman, Invader Zoom. You haven't even probably grown up on so many shows. Most people don't know some of these characters. That's why I was saying that these characters need to be labeled. So that the player know who's who. And who they're going to get into. But let's just use that example real quick. So let's just get somebody random. I do like the alternate outfits. I like how they changed it. They've made changes like that. And they're free. But I don't know if the, uh, the other ones, if they're going to get any more. Each individual character, 21 characters has a DLC outfit, at least one alternate costume that reference a particular episode. But this one I want to get into, just, just pick something. Let's go here. It's like, I wish you could do like a character tutorial. So you know what, so I'm using Toph as a, an example because, one, go. So you see, I can stop him. I wish you could just be able to, look, you can make different uh, settings, but I wish you could just open up the menu of how do you know what moves you're going to be able to use. And I'm using Toph, for example, because she has, she's an earthbender and she has all these different moves. So let's just, let's get started. It's just when you try to cast, how do you know if you're going to be able to, what moves does what? If you guys know what I mean, how would you know that pressing up, up and circle will, will activate the clay warrior? See, there's certain button mechanics or how to, how to trigger a move, how to activate a special. That'll be probably something cool. See, and she has different earth bending skills. Oh, I didn't get him. Oh, he knocked me away. 
See, and just things like that, I would like to see that happen. Just a little character tutorial of what you can do with these characters. Well, this button does this, that, and the other. It doesn't have the proper tutorial to teach the player how to do certain moves with certain characters. They'll have to button mash and just spam the attacks and see what does what. See? You can summon rocks and this specials like this for example how would the player be able to figure this out see you only can stay on this for a couple seconds <laughs> you can't know how he's eliminated so but just things like that for example just like a character tutorial playable like you're in the lab with that character training courses doing certain moves and being able to perform them that'll be pretty cool for some of these characters because some of the characters of what they every every character has a different playstyle, and uh, grapplers like Patrick, he's a he's a grappler. Can't let him grab you. And just certain moves, you want to do certain things, certain grappler moves and slam attacks and stuff like that. You don't know the player wouldn't know. They just have to keep on pressing buttons. And look, let me just open this on the screen real quick. I would love to see something like that. But it just, it shows you the controls right there. So it, I changed the control scheme. Cause I don't have it on the default. See, you can change the controls the way you see fit. But what about the character tutorial so you know how to play with that character instead of just pressing buttons in the training to try to guess what kind of moves they do and trying to guess uh, how to perform certain special attacks and maybe attacks that you can combo with. See what I'm saying? So there's just things like that I would like to see. You know, maybe a couple changes like that. It's just a little bit of an example. They can open up the modes for 2022. Let's get some new game modes besides these three. And let's go. Let's go back to the. Uh, let's go to this. See all the different rules you can expand. I would like to see this being expanded. You do team sports, time stuff like that. And just even just diving in and just taking some characters from the, the universe and stuff like that. Different uses, universes like Fairly Odd Parents. And uh, it's just so many characters from that world or that particular show. Like Steve Chip Skylark and Timmy Turner. And uh, just with the whole unique idea. Just because it's not just Chip Skylark. He could just fight with his teeth. That would be fun to really see. With his shiny teeth. And he just play like a different... He has like a musical... Just... Just sort of rhythmic sort of attacks or something like that. That'll be something cool to see and utilize. But all these different characters, they can get more than one character. It doesn't even have to be Timmy Turner. They can get Chip Skylark, Timmy Turner, with the to be bundled with Cosmo and Wanda, and then maybe a uh, Vicky. See how they can make it. Wandissimo. I think that was his name. Wandissimo from the show. For fairly odd parents, they can get you see how they got they got three SpongeBob characters, they got two Avatar characters, they got two Wilds, one character from Rugrats, Cat Dog, one character from Zen, Evader Zone, two characters from Ren and Snippy, three characters from Ninja Turtles, one character from Wild Thornberries, only one character surprisingly from Hey Arnold. Where's Arnold? Is being uh, I wish he was in this. And then Danny Fano, he's by himself. And then, ah, Real Monsters. <laughs> Real, Real Monsters, I really like watching the show. They have a Blina, but they could get the other two monsters as well. That Her other two friends, I forgot their names. And then just Garfield for now. But you see how they, they expand it on certain characters and certain shows? They got three from these. And they got the most characters. From three SpongeBob and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or TMNT, they got three from each for both of those shows or those different universes. So what's what's stopping them from getting two characters like Chip Skylark, and Timmy Turner? Maybe they get Chip Skylark instead, because they probably won't be able to get the rights to Timmy Turner. Who knows? But just expanding the DLC for 2022 is going to definitely attract more people. But even with the characters, who knows of how much they're going to charge? Because I'm sure not everything's going to be free DLC. Um, 
Will every character have a stage included with them, possibly, or is it just be the character alone bundled in for one price? Like maybe it'll be a battle pass, a fighter's pass, or something like that, if anything. A pass of that in particular universe, fairly odd parents of a pass, Garfield fighter's pass, or something like that, containing characters from that particular universe or that particular show as a license, as multiple licenses. Um, the voice acting is going to be awesome to see. See who's going to play what, how much am I going to sound? Leonardo, Michelangelo, and all the other characters. What kind of lines will they say? Maybe they're iconic, iconic lines from the TV show as a tribute. Uh, as a tribute. But just for the most, I want to see eight players. I want to see it expanding. And just with crossplay being the most important thing, with it just being so tough to find players, I think that's going to be a necessity. I would make that the first priority for a DLC. Just put that on hold and put just let's let's get it on get it crossplay so we can run into more players and more people will buy this game. I think I think that'll be the reason why more people will probably end up playing because it's just like I said, now everybody has PlayStation Five. Now everybody plays on the same platform. Some people play pr prefer to play on a particular platform over the other. So you probably can't play with those set friends that are probably playing on Xbox or maybe the Switch or something like that or whatever platform they have they like the most because everyone plays on different platforms. So once they get that crossplay, I think that'll definitely bring even more um, players and probably more sales to the game. I don't see this game becoming a free to play game for PlayStation Plus. I don't think so. At least I hope not. But would I be surprised if it does become a free to play game? I wouldn't, because at least I still have the game. But it took me longer to get this game because I wanted the physical copy. So it's just in my area, they took it was the physical copies were delayed. I just like having the game case and having the game disc and stuff like that. But just with all the things that's missing in this game, and then when you just you play all, all the characters, you go through the the entire arcade, which I already done. I'm gonna show you guys. I showed every I did everything. I did everything that you could possibly do in this game. I played on all the difficulties. On very hard for all the characters. There's nothing else to unlock. See that's what I was saying. They could do like a story. I don't know how everyone else feels about that. Let's get a story mode. Let's get different modes so these characters can have some cool little encounters. The story mode could go along to coincide with the maybe the voice lines or voice acting. They could have like different rivalries certain rivalries and stuff like that and hmm, let me see maybe sandy having a, a problem or a few with uh helga just for example uh reptar and ablina going head to head see what i'm saying just things like that and hmm what would be a cool little another unique r rivalry or a few or something like that for like a story mode i don't think it's gonna happen but maybe i'm asking for too much leonardo against aim the avatar stuff like that or maybe danny phantom and aim possibly just things like that just a, just a, just some ideas just a rivalries of views and um maybe an item mode they don't have to keep the items in it. It could be its own separate playable mode. See how they did. Let me see. Let's go back. See how they have this. They can. It could be a fourth slot. It could be a fourth slot on the on the page. You can put items. See, they got stock with lives. They got time with time battles, sports battle, and then somebody running around with items, with an item duel, and stuff like that. Item madness and stuff like that. Items mode. And they could be items from those different worlds of Nickelodeon universes. Maybe like a magic wand from from Fairly Odd Parents, for example. Something like that. See? And I'm not saying it has to be something that's always in the game that they can turn on and off. See how they say how to play. You're just reading. You just don't even have a I don't really like this too much. You could just be able to play with those different uh, characters. How would you really be able to memorize all this stuff? See, this needs to be changed. Let's get a tutorial in here. 
but just with items it can be its own separate mode maybe um maybe something additional with the sports you have different types of um like the plankton ball i almost thought those are little teasers of characters if they got a plankton ball maybe plankton can potentially be a character in the game <laughs> that'd be something Tommy Ball. The Tommy Ball is from Rugrats. So. Just things like that. But just with everything they got going on playing crossplay voice acting and stuff like that. Thinking, I definitely think it'll probably bounce back, but we, we're going to have to see what they bring out. What kind of characters will, will be in the game? Who's next after Garfield? Will all this stuff that they're going to add be enough to bring more players? Or will people drop the game? I was just so hyped for this game. I still like it and enjoy it, but just with not much to do, I'm spending more time playing local play, going against the CPU, against the computer, which is random challenges and playing around with characters and stuff like that. Doing showdowns like the Ninja Turtle showdowns, like Leonardo versus Michelangelo and April and stuff like that. I'm creating, I'm just doing stuff like that just to try to create my own fun out of the game because there's, I don't have anything else to do in this game. So that's just the, the this, that's just where I'm at with this game. It's just like I'm just I'm more I'm spending more time playing around in the menus, using different characters. I play with all the characters. They're all great in their own way. I'm doing random battles. Pick a random character, all random, random stage, one v twos and stuff like that. Just just trying to have fun and create some fun out of it. So that way it's uh it continues to be playable. But I just I'm curious to see what they do next, and uh, what do you guys think for this game? Will you guys be purchasing it? For those who don't probably have it, who's already seen this, will you guys be purchasing it and maybe consider it once the crossplay is revealed and uh, once the crossplay is ready to go? Maybe if a certain character gets revealed, maybe that'll be enough to really make you want to go for the purchase. I think it's still 30% off. I'm not too sure if it is, unless that was just a holiday sale. But it's just so much that this game can do. And they said it's going to be so, so much different within the next year and, and what, as the future goes on. Well, in the near future, it'll be so much more different. I just want to see the differences. I want to see the different changes. They can get all the characters in the world, but what else will it be able to offer for the player to keep that player coming on and coming back for more? And just being able to expand. But they end up getting a, a, a different character from these other universes and maybe some characters that we probably would least expect to see like a dragon ball z character i'm not sure what's gonna happen with this game but i think that this game has a chance they just have to do everything right and make sure um, they continue the characters consistent updates and with the updates themselves not being universal i think that's going to be a major issue because every most of the player base are on Nintendo Switch. They get the updates late in comparison to PlayStation and Xbox and stuff like that. PC, Xbox, and PlayStation and stuff like that. So maybe some universal uh, updates might end up being a good idea. But let me know what you guys think. I really like this game. It's one of my favorite games this year. Even though it's not that many people playing this game right now. <laughs> but it's, it's really fun. And... Um, Hopefully they'll be able to bring more for 2022 to bounce back.